Hi, this is Dennis with Do Yourself Hyperbaric Chamber. I uh, wanted to give an update uh, that uh, we're almost done with this one. I got a couple more pieces to put on, but uh, I just wanted to show you our progress. So let me show you. It came back from powder coating. It's looking pretty good. We had to send it out to powder coating without the wheels because when they powder coat, they you know go up to like 400 degrees, uh, baking on the powder. Uh, so these wheels would have melted. So we took them off, uh, sent it over there, and uh, and got them back on today. We just got it back today. We've already put the windows in. As you can see right there, window works great. I mean, the door works great. Goes back a lot further than that. So the square door is able to go back square so you can get in. Let me show you a little bit in the inside. There's two windows on the top. We've got the metal rings up on those and gaskets. And I use an RTV uh, to uh, seal it. You can see over here, we've got our air out, air in and exterior air out. Um, I can show you a little bit more about that. We put rails on the top. The client wanted rails in here. Um, and then you can see, this is our gasket right here. It's actually just a cord. Uh, I think that one's half inch. And you splice and you can uh, mate it together. But if you can see, we, we, um, we did a, uh, coating on the uh, on the door itself and then when we set it up for powder coating this was taped off same thing with the inside of the door yeah. so that's got this one and it shuts with a good seal but since we put our TV in it we cannot repressurize for five days because the uh, the material uh, needs five days to harden. Up here, you can see we have the uh, four different pressures. Now I did this one different. I put these on the top of the tank directly through. And then on the inside of the tank, you can actually decide which pressure you want from the inside so you can control it better. I like that uh, better. So you can see here is the windows. We bolt them through with gaskets and then the RTV, I put around the head and then sunk it down. It squeezed out just a teeny bit, but that's actually kind of nice, good pressure. I need to get a coupling for my uh, pressure gauge that goes up to 30. It's gonna sit here so you can see it from the outside and the inside. This is a connection right over here for O2. You've got uh, air in right here, which is gonna be dedicated just air in. So you could turn it on and off in the outside, or if you have it on there, you can turn it off or on from the inside. So you have control inside. Also, you have air out right there, so you can control, either control the air in and out from there, or if someone, for some reason, had a problem and they passed out or what have you, there's another air out here so that someone outside could uh, decompress it also. So there you have it. They wanted uh, some shark fins on there because they're going diving, I guess. And uh, this is the final window out the, the back. I think it came out pretty sharp. So I, the last thing I need to do is I'm gonna get a uh, California air compressor, uh, two horsepower. Uh, and then also I'm going to put a baffle 
I'm going to put a baffle here. I'm going to put a baffle here. I'm going to put an also another baffle on the inside where the air is coming in. And I set the, up for the client that they have an oxygen entrance or exit, but I'm not going to deal with that because of the liability. So that's pretty much it. So uh, if there's anything else, I'll, le I'll let you know. But um, that is my final build minus a couple of pieces. Take care.